are back. Last time we made a quick stop off on, made it to level 27, or uh, B7 rather. Bars, the new, new quest available. And this is after we figured out that the map spell will actually let you make a shortcut basically through the, through the, uh, not shortcut, but will show where the way out is on a, um, dungeon, on a labyrinth level. So, saves a whole lot of hassle, but nice if I <laughs> realized that earlier. Our right, new quests. Alright, not those. So that one I'm I know I have to complete the paralysis quest to unlock that one. Okay, so they can know what's going on. What's left? So I have to the remaining quests are sell one of every item to the shopkeeper. And you get paral paralyzed, come back to town, get healed by her. The next one is poisoned. That one's pretty straightforward. And the one after that is die. And you get turned to ashes. And then they will then you'll get a free restore from ashes. But it has to be from ashes. If you're if you're killed with a reaper, then obviously the character is permanently dead and you're 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 done. And once those are done, this unlocks this quest. Which I did some checking, and that one is go to a whole bunch of places in the dungeon with basically some tourists so we're as far as we can get right now with the side quests it is critical path in terms of aside from selling stuff to the vendor so it is critical path from here I, speaking of which, I believe I have some items to sell to yeah, I sell the slime jelly. <clears throat> Just need to identify those robes. Um, well, yeah, I believe I need to sell the slime jelly. I don't think I've sold Wyvern's eyeball yet. I think I've sold the giant's tooth already. I know I've sold the cocoon. So let's identify those items first. I don't remember that last time, but I had um, stuff at the time. All right. Oh, just generic leather armor. That's... We're not going to equip it. First robe, nope. No, and then there's the other robe. one and we'll sell those because we're also going to need to buy some antidotes in order to proceed with the dungeon proceed the dungeon good news is for the poison quest um you have to go through some po through some poison squares in order to proceed. Um, I don't need to craft something to try to leave the slime jelly and the wyver wyvern's eyeball in town. The spell casting. If I got something that uses just cocoons, that'll be fine. I know. Actually, know my teal is max level. So that's no good. Um. Uh, 
Okay, so I want to leave some giants too that I can sell them if I need to. Um, nope, we need the slime jelly. I know I've sold hounds of ears, so I'll see that one works. can do for um oh perfect two cocoons Creo's almost maxed up that spell maxed out that spell. I don't know if I sold the Wyvern's eyeball or not. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. Okay. Quickly save since I went and dealt with some inventory stuff. I don't want to have to deal with that crap again if we wipe. Into the labyrinth we go. I do need to grab some more uh, transfer item, transfer potions. If I can get a freebie, that that would be nice. Perfect. My right, first rank is transfer potions. The back rank does not. So. Now, there's a very real possibility that once we hit the last level of the dungeon, these will stop respawning. So I'd like to be able to buy up, to, to have a, a bunch of them handy in case when the time comes for the final push, I end up needing a bunch of them. I know that there's some stuff on the lower levels that I'm going to need to pick up because there's the like Pied Piper's flute or something like that I need to get for a vellum item. Yeah. 
Yes, thanks for waiting. All right. Yep, okay. I know I don't have to, I know I've got Salt Thief's Red and Broken Sword. Let's check Wyvern's Eyeball and Giant 2. I don't know what that one is. I have Soul Mover's Eyebrow. I have Soul Cocoon. I have Soul Giant's Tooth. Okay. Okay, good to know. So I did a oh, I got, I got poison items, almost forgot. So I for so I forgot to mention from well, I did my research, and the shortcut that we've been using for the past few episodes to get down to B5 uh, is basically the last shortcut that's unlocked in the game. Um, oh, not enough damage to, to just do, finish you. Okay. Save space for the uh, healing for the poison potions. All right, antidotes. I have a kitty. Oh, new dialogue. You remember me? I'm the person who had, you search, who had you search for a book. I'm glad I took this route. There's one thing I would like to ask you. Are you intending to go deep into that labyrinth? Yes. Nobody has seen what exists deep in the labyrinth. I believe I know what is down there. There's no way for me to confirm that anymore. Walter left after he whispered some mysterious words. We live in a dream. The voices of living beings, the voices of dead beings, in this boundless darkness. Our souls are desiring to sleep earlier than our physical bodies. Just up in that foreshadowing there. Glad I took that detour.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.